I will do one more and I'll probably throw and move on to the next weapon. This, this is ridiculous. I, I don't know. This weapon is done already. And it's not. Because the game cheats. That's what I think about princes. And you know the funny thing? You can't even chase them with this weapon because the rolling attack is disgustingly bad. So it does not hit Lorian or Lothric the uh... This is exactly why speedrunners hate no haters. Or if not hate, just dislike them. It's like an inferior form of speedrunning. And then. And you reset because the game is garbage. But at least on a speedrun you're going fast. And you just say bothering you and carry on. I don't know if I should start doing some sort of different system, like a certain number of attempts and move on to something else. <sighs> because it's kinda... Like, even, even if I were to get the weapon right now, you know, like we kill Cinder right now, it's like, it doesn't... Run by the way, but yeah, like I uh, should do like a set number of attempts. 
and then move on to the next one because this is uh, this is something that has happened. Like either I get the weapon super fast. Or we do runs, eventually we get good runs like right away, and then I start dying to the most random bullshit. Enemies cheating. And then obviously since I'm just like... Not even... Putting any effort, I end up throwing. And eventually, we come to this point where I've been up for uh, how long? 520. 520, I'm wearing high wall. Not even, not even counting the other day that we did a few runs. And we died to princes or something like that. Not, not even counting that, huh? Just runs from today. It's like what I was saying, uh, we could kill Cinder right now, it's like... Yes, one more weapon, but it's like, I consider that this is done already. It's like, it doesn't make sense to... It doesn't make sense to get to the end of a run. The game kills me. I was like, oh yeah, time to reset. That doesn't make any sense. Part of the reason why certain thing, th certain things I just don't care anymore, like quit outs and shit like that. Or lizards. Uh, it, has, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm not counting that anymore. If you have a lizard fall on your head, that's not a hit. That is literally just a rock. Environmental damage right there. I'm gonna do this. So I don't want him stuck on the wall again. And that's the thing, I could heal Cinder and it wouldn't matter, I could die right now and it wouldn't matter, I just don't care about this run. You know, it's like a... It's like the whole point is to do it without getting hit, you know, like that's pretty obvious and in my mind I've done it without getting hit it's just that my character died for no reason that's why it's so annoying this is not like it's not like a whenever I die without you know making any mistakes or whatever it just feels bad because it's like the game killing you Nice, is this dog gonna kill me? I hope so.
And it's gonna end up pissing me off like the... The... Great Sword of Judgment. Is you're trying your hardest, playing well, and you die, and then you're like I am right now. You guys can't see me, but uh, let me tell you, this is not got good posture for yourself. And I can't even see the screen from here, but uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I can see my character more or less where she is, so we're fine. Because uh, until we get to these watchers, I'm not even gonna sit on the chair, just you know. I don't need to look at the screen for this shit. And I am actually really hoping that I die. I'll not actively kill myself, but uh, you know. If someone is out of position and I have to wait 20 seconds to get them, I am definitely just going in and dying. So if there is an evangelist and a dog here, I'm accidentally gonna aggro them both and fight them. Because I can't be bothered to wait. No evangelist, how unexpected. We do have a dog though, maybe he will kill me. So I am definitely not wasting a bomb here. No, nah, wrong attack dog. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Join us. If this guy doesn't do the normal attack, I am fucking not rolling. I'm trying to die here and the enemies won't give it to me. How unfair. said this is actually uh, uncomfortable mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So this is what I mean. I can play fucking line now. Glancing at the screen and I don't get hit. And then I'll be fucking focusing for hours and it's just disgusting. Anyone anyone that thinks that this game requires skill is just fucking delusional. If this guy comes at me from the front, I am not waiting for him. We've been over this many times, he should know what his fucking position is. Enemies with random spawns don't belong in this game. What a surprise. Oops. That's a rare console.
Super fist strike damage, right? Oh, I just realized. Wait, what? I was gonna say that I have an extra titanite, but I don't. Why not? Should be 13. Ah, unicorn papa. Now I'm actually curious. What could I possibly have uh, skipped? I dropped down for this last one, I got all those fours, I got those three. Maybe the one at the start that I somehow just didn't grab. Invisible plunge. Be safe, champion.
<laughs> Overcorrecting too much. Find that too far to go in. And this is a slow grab, so I can't go for those incomplete combos. Something like that would happen. Hardest part of this fight is reaching for the split button. And it is still one of the most difficult parts of this whole run, so imagine. was an accident. I meant to throw it so fast I didn't have time to aim. I wonder if that was the game or is my screen dying? Probably the game, I've seen weird things happen.
Alright. I don't get normal Titanite weapons that often. I've been doing a lot of pranks and boss weapons. I wonder what's fastest sitting and despawning him or just killing him again. Probably killing him again. Nice, six hours up.
I'm just gonna play this like a moron. Can't do a second hour too. Or one I mean. There's a stagger here, I should have gone for it. Run one more there. Of course, a wave. It's only the last hit. No problem. Just another hit.
quite sure why he's still attacking me, but okay. Okay. Oh, I can't do our twos if I bath, I just realized. I was thinking that I want a tiny bit more damage <laughs> so we can do R2, double R1 I was like, no that's not gonna work Oh 
also I cancelled too early. How the fuck was that a cancel? I didn't even fully turn. Using a sword. What you guys don't know is that when people play Dark Souls they play on like the default difficulty what people don't know is that there's another difficulty to Dark Souls which is what my game has where enemies do whatever the fuck they want and they just randomly turn sometimes so you're gonna strafe one attack and it's like oh you can't because this enemy is randomly attacking the wall that guy is just floating over there. I don't know if you guys saw that. But yeah, it's like, you know, that, that enemy is, it has like three attacks. You can strafe all of them, although this one is usually better to roll because you can just keep going straight. As like, you think? You think that movement she just did makes any sense? She was going at me or something? No, no, that's just a random attack against the rail. And I just so happened to be in the way. Enemy is not spawning in the right place. Enemy is not attacking you, just randomly attacking somewhere. And then you have to react to whatever random place they're attacking. Invisible walls. You know, my game has that. Like normally you could play and then go to NG plus, uh, yeah, I guess NG plus, NG plus, whatever, and unlock the extra difficulty, right? The enemies are stronger, they have more HP. But you have to play my game to find that that kind of like actually, you know, like increase difficulty without just tweaking the numbers, you know. Like sometimes enemies are just not there. Sometimes enemies will just do random patrols. 
Sometimes the Dark Raids, for example, they just do a 180 and start attacking you. It's like, you know, they randomly decide, oh, I'm just gonna turn and see the player standing there. It's like, oh, cool. Or yeah, you're trying to kill Billem. That one, that one was actually insane. You're trying to kill Billem, and you lure him to the cliff. You end up. Pu I don't remember if I push him or what I did there, but he dies. And then you try to proceed, and there is literally an invisible force field that prevents you from going into the church. Like, you are walking, you are sprinting, you are trying to jump over a roll, and it's literally an invisible wall that will not let you proceed. But so you guys don't have to worry about that because your Dark Souls 3 does not have those, it's exclusive to my copy. It has like extra difficulty perks. It has bigger hitboxes as well. Misaligned hitboxes too, but I think you guys got that. <sighs> What can we do? Extra delay on menus sometimes. Why does she keep talking down there, dude? I'm so far away. And she's still in conversation. And every once in a while, I'll get a random enemy who just becomes immune to skulls. You know, like in RPGs, you have random enemies that are immune to status effects. So in Dark Souls, sometimes it's like fucking elite mobs that just become immune to skulls. So you throw a skull, you think the enemy is gonna go for it, but no, they attack you still. And you and you are just there like Oh I guess I die. Nice. Thankfully it doesn't happen often, it's like a rare mod.
keep getting shitty ones. I was salvaging it so far. Did I actually go for this? It'll be fine. <laughs> what happened to my bundles? Did I use them at some point? Night stream? What do you mean night? It's like 12 p.m. Middle of the day. Like night streams are the normal ones, like evening into night. <laughs> Morning stream, you're retarded. Oh, fair enough. It happens. <laughs> I mean, I started that. About 6 a.m. Does that count as night, really? Probably not. Going. Oh boy, do I have a clip for you? Can you actually put it here? Hold it. Where's my mouse? Oh fuck. Uh, control C, Control V. Check. <sighs> what a beautiful, unfair hit. Just a couple hours ago. Wow, 
Like, I'm used to getting clipped from the side, which it happens. But like that one is pretty much new. So that's why I said before that my character had a heart attack. You know, she was fighting princes, maybe the pressure got to her and just you know like in Darkest Dungeon when you get uh too much stress your characters kinda break down or they you know it pops a beer or whatever. But when it gets to like 200 stress, they just insta die with a heart attack. That's that's what happened right there. For some reason, my character was taking stress damage or something, and she just died. I got hit from start of swing. Like it kind of, it kind of doesn't matter exactly what I, why, how I got hit, because the hitbox at no point should be close to my character model. At no point any part of the sword is close to me, so at any point should I die? Or right, the other way around. At no point should I die? Blaming characters? I'm not blaming her. Sometimes you just take stress damage for no reason. It just happens. Do you guys know what panic attacks are? It's like there is no reason to them. Sometimes you just have them. Amount of bugs on my streams. <laughs> yeah, it tends to happen. It's a passive I have. No matter what game I play, I seem to attract fucking millions of bugs. I was, hey. I was talking about the different difficulties in Dark Souls 3. There is like the normal difficulty that everyone has and then there is the my difficulty which includes you know new hitboxes new patrols and patterns to the enemies and just random other shit <coughs> 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 Is a stagger bug in Mortal Shell yesterday while recording? Nice! It must be contagious or something. What the fuck is this? What is happening with my controller? Please fully turn. Thank you. Also, you know the funny thing? I might be able to survive with 20 vitality. Everything grows here. Tall and strong. Join us. I haven't tried yet, but uh, it might just be enough. But maybe not because I also have 8 attacks. Just a thing that happens. You're trying to play a video game, and you know you starts going crazy with glitches. Cause like, I'm actually curious about that hitbox because I've never seen uh, like the hit from that, you know, from behind like that. You can get clipped at the start of the animation if you're to his right. Like, the hitbox ex extends behind him a bit. <coughs> I 
Because like you see my position at all points is literally under uh, under Lothric. So it does not make sense that I get hit. This is this is not possible. I could rather he stops right here because like if I go into that he's gonna follow up. Or is he gonna do one? You see that is also not possible to happen, the backhand thing is it just fucking happens. Ah oh, I messed up. When he stomps like that, I don't know why he gets staggered himself. That seems pretty stupid. I mean, I can go here, I think. Just get under him. Miss, miss, miss. I don't know, nowadays I'm extremely skeptical of um, hitboxes. No, if you, I don't know if you remember, but there was a thing with a uh, person that... Uh, wait, what am I doing here? Oh, Pontiff. Fuck. There was a thing with a person that submitted a cheated run. Like it was, uh, you know, if, if you look a bit closely, it's super obvious. I, it it kind of reminded me of this video that uh, someone showed me with uh, like parts of that run where it looks, uh, it looks suspicious or you just literally just see that person getting hit. But uh, the thing is, the thing is, for certain bosses, I've I've learned that the hit boxes don't really match what you're seeing. Like dancer and DSA being uh, like up there in terms of uh, you know the hitbox is here, but the actual attack is not there. So sometimes you get hit when you're shooting. And sometimes you should die and you don't, simply because the sword goes through you and you don't die. It happens on, da on Dancer very often. So at this point I've seen like really strange things in Dancer, so it's like... I'm skeptical whenever someone asks me, oh does this thing, does this look like this person is cheating? And I look at it and I go like, I mean... It could be, but at the same time, it's like it's dancer, so it could be like one attack just going through you and you don't die. I think it's on this run, or maybe the previous one, I can't remember anymore, that I did a charge R2 because I thought she was gonna stagger, maybe. She didn't, and the triple spin went over my head. And I'm not sure if I rolled it properly or not. I'm, I'm sure I fucked up and I didn't, but somehow I didn't get hit, so, you know, that counts. It's like, when I... oh, I didn't buff properly. 
when I miss the parry like this, because that's in my mind, that's a fucking miss. Look how early am I parrying. How, how does that connect even? So whenever I miss the parry here, like some, sometimes, sometimes it's actually like sometimes you actually see how you miss. Like you miss time it, but just a bit. Like you know, y y your rhythm and his rhythm are out of sync, so you cannot, you cannot, <coughs> like you can tell right away that you're gonna miss your parry. Like you fucked up, you're not exactly at the same time that sh you, sh you should be. That happens, but there's other times where I will just go in, parry, get a partial, repost, and be like, wait, what? Because it does not make sense that I get a partial in those situations. But then again, like stairs and uh, like the initial opening, they can have different timings depending on what distance you at. So it's like when, whenever that happens, I'll check what my movement is, and whenever something weird happens, it's like my movement is just slightly different, you know. Like maybe I ran all the way, or maybe I was just walking a bit too much. By the way, anyone who doesn't parry the initial opener is a coward. I'm just just letting it be known, by the way. If you think this applies this applies to you, well. You're a coward. But yeah, anyway, they can have different timings. That's why you don't wanna ever parry on the stairs. Because like the height, if you're up and he's down or he's up and you're down, like the time the timing changes by like a fraction of a second. And it's very easy to get a partial. But like the thing is, like those parries I just did now. They're terrible, they're extremely early, and you still get, like, a proper parry. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. That's why I mock whenever someone talks about consistency. I just, I just laugh, it's like... <laughs> There's no consistency in this game. I'd rather I'd rather think of it in you know in terms of chances like percentages and shit. It's like this guy right here. I can I can point to every single fucking enemy and give you examples of why no enemy in this fucking game is consistent. This guy can have fucked up pathing, you know, just a zigzag to you or something, or he can delay his uh, his poke, or he can be really fast. Speaking of, you know, that happens sometimes. Well, I remember one time that I literally was running up and I didn't see this guy. I didn't see him because he just he was standing still, he was not patrolling. And that's the reason I never strafe the lightning attack anymore. Because I know that guy sometimes kinda goes to the side so it can change the angle at which you strafe. Or the other way around. Change the angle at what uh, it hits you, and you have to change the angle at which you strafe. If you don't, he's gonna clip you from behind. Four. Can I get a headshot? No. I don't like this very much. I could go here, but uh, let me just buff in case we get another opener. Yeah, this this works. I 
no headshots. It's just literally just one headshot and he dies. Like right that right there. You think you think that shouldn't be a hit? Like if I, if you see that in slow motion, I think that should be a hit just because of how Aldrich hitboxes work. Also splits. But somehow it isn't. Like Aldrich hitboxes are I feel like they're like out of sync. Just sometimes they hit early, sometimes they hit too late. It's kinda like a nameless. Nameless attacks. There's many nameless attacks where you have to roll way earlier than it looks. And then there's others where you you, you know you you have all the time in the world to roll despite the attack almost going through you. And I died to armor before as well, I think after the princess one. Because I thought he was gonna break and he didn't somehow. It, it happens. Like 10 seconds when he idles and blocks for a bit, it's, uh, it actually goes by really fast. So it's easy to lose the stagger if you're not pushing him. <laughs> that is rare. I'll take it there. Like, you see that, like, watch that one in slow motion. Why am I not dead? It went through me. It literally went through me. I'm gonna roll early because I don't trust that. Bonk. Oh, that's laser. I thought it was maple. Yeah, I was saying that that uh, backhand is a very good example. You like play it in slow motion, and you'll see how that attack goes literally through my head. And to be fair to this weapon, I duck every time I attack. Like kind of my character, you know. See what I mean? So it could be that, but uh, you can do it with other weapons, like. What was weird was the other day where I got backhanded on 360 somehow. Like it went all the way around and then it hit me. And it's like that should never happen. Like that one is also super early. Like uh, uh, whatever. I'll just press the parry button at the start of the game and just parry everything.
<laughs> oh, I wonder. Let me see that again. Isn't this different? I think two handing or not also affects that animation. Like this gargoyle. <laughs> Everyone I see running through this area gets the suicide. I used to get it way more often, but every time I'm testing on a run, I no longer, you know, I no longer even attempt to run through here because it's happened so many times. I'm testing the weapon, I'm running through here, and it's like, surely today the gargoyle will suicide. And um, no, it kills me, and then I have to run all the way from armor. Okay, falls. There is a relatively old strat where you throw a fire bomb to aggro him. And then provoke one attack and he falls to the lower floor. But um, it's actually not entirely consistent, simply because there are attacks where he goes through the gap and catches up to you and then it's like, oh nice, I got a gargoyle next to me. Plus you actually have to roll the attack because it's a poke and uh, it just reaches very far. Ah, so fucked up. If that was a quick attack on the other, maybe it catches me. Oof. I do not want to have this guy here. Just go away, please. See, 120 to get here. I was like, you could be fighting princes, but it's like, I might as well save one single hit and do a bit more damage and in there. All levels are not really a problem for this. And then obviously setting up our TSR gang. Which, to be fair, I don't really have the mana to keep RTSR. So I have to do... How many is it? Three drops. Well, 
Dex is wrong, I am not capped yet. I'll get like... I'll get more Dex, maybe? But it's kinda... It might be the wrong weapon because I can get Dex for a bit more damage or... I can just go up to 66 and then get Vitality, which is what I'm gonna do most likely. Must be Judgment? Probably, because it's like 26, 40, 40. And then 40, that's why we're never capped on it. And it's like, now I'm thinking, is that hit normal? Is that gonna ever happen again? Can I, can I strafe normally and wing? But then again, this is the last run, so we're just gonna play and do our best. Not even 3 minutes for leveling up and grabbing uh, grabbing a slab. at is he gonna break in one hit he probably will no is your follow up Enough. I fucking hate using the rolling attack. I didn't mean to kick. <laughs> Look at the range though. It's like literally behind me. No, under my feet. Okay, okay, a bit closer. And it's like, yeah, Dex will surely go up at some point, but... <laughs> Vitality for what? Hornet? 
And we have to do the extra bosses first, so nah, let's just get one point in strength that does nothing. I see. That is dead if he attacks right there. That kick is better than the alternative. Go heal. Ah. Oh. At least it's fast, so we have that. I almost fucking ran into the poke, but... I am entirely unsurprised because this is the last run I said. So yeah, it's inevitable. Just fucking delayed three hours because of princess. Mm -hmm.